Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a quick word from our sponsor. The Sunday Book Review for February 26, 2023, the Bribery Edition. Last week, we took on books on corruption. This week, it's bribery. And we begin with The Ethics of Bribery, a theoretical and empirical studies by Robert McGee. While most people assume bribery is unethical, the literature provides examples and philosophical arguments to support the proposition that some bribes may be ethical on utilitarian grounds. This book provides a theoretical and empirical examination of bribery from the ethical perspective. Next up, the UK Anti-Bribery Handbook. Uh, This is by Christopher Salon, QC, and Sam Tate. So it's a guide to the UK 2010 Bribery Act and related cases. It's a reference point for those concerned about corruption. under UK law. It uh, has revised internal investigations uh, and provides a uh, upli- uh, checklist, case studies, and relevant forms. It's essential reading for all of those who want to comply with this law. Next up, Anti-Bribery, A Complete Guide. Uh, this book by Gerardus Baldike is, um, asks, do you have specific policies and procedures in place It is a a book which will provide you with uh, excellent forms that you can use to try and uh, put such uh, programs in place. And finally, Bribery and Corruption in International Business, Causes, Cases, and Cures by Rajib Sanyal. Uh, This explains and analyzes the nature and extent of bribery in international business and efforts to combat it. It draws on case studies, evaluates bribery practices across countries, explores hot topics in corporate social responsibility, and provides a single source uh, to readily understand the subject. It explains why bribery takes place and what you can do uh, to help um, stop this. It looks at such factors as cultural, economic, political, institution, institutional determinants, the types of industries and countries where such briberies occur, and of course, companies, and various legal and non-legal efforts to combat bribery, implications for corporations, public policy, and future boards of directors, which, of course, has now become even more uh, important. I hope you will read one or more of these books, and I hope you will check out, uh, if you haven't done so, the February 19th episode where I look at bribery. For the anti-corruption compliance practitioner, understanding some of the basis, uh, both uh, ethical, cultural, systemic, it could be critical to your organization putting an effective anti-corruption compliance program in place to prevent bribery and corruption. And of course, comply with such laws as the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act and the U.K. Anti-Bribery Act. So check out uh, one of the books from this week and one of the books from the past uh, week's episode on the Sunday Book Review. The Compliance Podcast Network was recently honored with several communicator awards for podcasts I know you will want to check out. Are you interested in Lyme disease? Well, check out Understanding Lyme Disease. And check out the Hill Country Podcast, where I look at the people, places, and things of the Texas Hill Country. I recently posted a new podcast series, The Big Empty, on 21st Century Economic Issues Facing the State of Texas, where together with author Lauren Steffi and using his book, The Big Empty, to introduce five key economic topics facing the state of Texas. It's a fusion of fiction and current fact that I know you will enjoy if you're a book reader, if you're an economist, or just a listener. And we actually have one more, which is the board's role in compliance, where I'm joined by my colleague, Jonathan Mark 
partnered Baker Tilly, where we look at the role of the board of directors in compliance, starting with the Caremark Doctrine and carrying that forward and answer questions on how a board can fulfill its obligations under a best practices compliance program. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.